um, Instagram with this information, you will have in green the mic is dominance uh, uh, place and the barb dominance is the one that is in orange. So you will see like the the problem if you you can do this as simple as just calculating the average amount of the all of the outputs that you have for delivering rate. But in both cases, you will have the same average that is 29.9 minutes. So there are. It seems that both of them are uh, in the target spectral value. Okay, right. Okay, you will see here like what are the six sigma phases, levels, and tools. Uh, first, going to see the the information in the in the left. These are the phases of the six sigma: define, measure, analyze, and proof and control. That we will go in detail uh, in the following slide. But then, in terms of the organization, you have like different levels and responsibilities, and they have like a, a color of a belt of the of the at the people that practice karate and that kind of stuff. Uh, you have the white level, the overview of Lean Six Sigma. You have the yellow uh, belt, that there are team members that they gather data, process mapping, etc. Then you have the green belt that are the project leaders. They uh, are expected to get uh, less than one million in savings. This is uh, for, uh, for their project portfolio. So they have a specific um, responsibility in terms of the Six Sigma phases, in terms of measuring or lights of um, uh, failure uh, methods analysis. Then you have the Black Belt as a project leader, team mentors. They have uh, they are supposed to um, implement uh, uh, process improvement that get to the organization more than one million in savings. So they. Uh, have, like in terms of analysis, they are supposed to handle the correlation, simple linear regression, um, uh, and another and use another tools to identify possible um, sources of variation in the process. Then you have the master black belt that are the guru of the whole thing of the organization. There are project managers, there are instructors, they are supposed to guide the black belt. And they have advanced surface response analysis, and they use the more robust, uh, robust um, tools to analyze the, the process. But mainly the master blood builder are supposed to have like the oversight of, of the whole portfolio of projects, improvement projects uh, through the organization. DMAIC is the MIC, is the Six Sigma methodology. Uh, there is Methodology or philosophy that is used to improve the processes and is uh, it has these phases. The D is from define what is wrong to identify what is the problem. Then the M is for measure. There is uh, we, we need to to measure what is the the problem to to get the dimension of that. Then the A is from analyze. Then you analyze all of the information that you gather to get a more understanding, a deep understanding of the problem. Then the I for improvement or improve. You define what are you going to change and how and then and implement to that. And then control, you go to measure again and to see if the process is behaving in terms of the um, requirement boundaries that you define, like country limits. So let's go in detail for each one. Define, as I told you before, uh, the purpose of this step is to clearly articulate the business problem, goal, potential resources, project scope, a high level project timeline, the system, the problem, customer guarantee, and project goals. If you are familiar with the project management methodology in this phase, you articulate like the the, it's like the initiation of the of the project. You need to get clear what's the scope, define the scope, what is the problem, because it will be the base to do the following. We go to the next next phase, this measure. What is the purpose of this of this phase? Is to optically establish the current baseline, the base for improvement. This is just as simple as the collation step uh, phase. In this case, you uh, design where it's going to be the collection methods, uh, 
for uh, how long and how you recapture the data. Uh, that would that would be like the the sensor of the problem that you are uh, and previously defined that you want to get to know what is happening. And the next phase is analyze the. Main objective of this step is to identify, validate, and select the root cause for elimination. This is based on the um, data that you collect in the previous phase, but in this case, you analyze. And um, one of the tools that you can use in this is the cause and effect relationship, so you get clear what are the all of the root causes of the of the symptoms of the problem that you defined in the first phase. So it will help you to identify what are relationships and all factors that should be considered like as symptoms of the problem. And this phase is, is, is one of the most valuable because in this one you will define uh, the solution and test that and implement to solve the problem uh, partially or as a whole. I prefer to solve the problem as a whole and, and, and spend more time doing that. So it, it, it needs like creative innovative solution, um, focus on things first that would be easy to implement and then uh, develop like a detailed plan to implement those that require a huge investment. Um, then you can use this cycle that is plan to check at is it's better to test one thing is that solve the problem. In that case, you will be prepared to measure again if the um, if the solution really fix what all of the symptoms or or a few of them, and then you go again to plan to check out. It's like a whole cycle. To go to control. Control is is a very important. And most people forget about this phase, but. The idea is to monitor the improvement to ensure that the, all of the work that you did in the, in the previous phase is continuous and sustainable with success. Use this control system, and in this case, you use the uh, statistical process control to see if the process is, you, you define a specification in the previous phase, and then in this phase, you uh, get a uh, visual uh, estimation if the process, the variability of the process is and in control inside the boundaries of the specification. This is a statistical measurement. And also you use the statistical process control that uh, is called statistic and I love it is help you monitoring the and controlling the process that ensure that it's full of its potential. If the process capability is okay, the process is under requirement and is it, it doesn't have any uh, uh, type of variability that could be caused by a normal uh, things or if you need to go again to, to make sure to get more data or to implement a different solution. So this is very important phase. You will be concerned in what is the difference of another improvement opportunity versus Six Sigma, using Six Sigma. And in case of all improvement plans, um, I can tell you that this is our, it, that work, but it's incremental uh, working that would take years to get the, the result of that improvement. But in case of Six Sigma, you will see like immediate results. Of course, it will depend of how well do you work each phases and how well you go deep to get the data to really and deeply analyze each process. And to summarize, Six Sigma is focused in reduction deviations and it improves effectiveness. What is the purpose of Lean in the US? In terms of the big three, proposed process and people, uh, the first one is uh, an organization need to have like solving a problem of the customers. That's the, the purpose of the, the base objective organization and at the end the purpose of prospering to get uh, better every time. The second uh, thing, big is the, the second big thing about Lean is their processes, how the value stream working in terms of um, make sure every step is valuable, 
capable, available, that they can be flexible, etc. In terms of uh, continuous improvement, and the third one is people. How the organization is um, ensure that every important process that someone is doing is working in the right way, with the aligned with the business purpose and the processes, and also that the continuous improvement philosophy is part of that organization. This is powerful because why Lean and Six Sigma? And I love to work the both together. Lean Six Sigma. Lean for one hand, I tell you, it, it helps to eliminate the waste in the process and the organization. In the other hand, Six Sigma will help you to reduce the variability of the process. So when they work together, they have the best components and technical components to reduce waste, variation, and transform the business. Focus on variance and waste are the best way to achieve effectiveness. Uh, in terms of the Sigma and efficiency in terms of Lean. So Lean Six Sigma is a powerful team. Let's work in that, in that, in that area. Using this dual approach just allows everyone in your business to have a role in making Lean Six Sigma a continuous success. Remember the roles that I told you about it? Important to get um, everyone a role in that process so you will get those that you need to improve their area. So in a simple uh, way, Lean Six Sigma or uh, LSS, how to use LSS. Uh, first, you're um, looking for stability and consistency. This, uh, I can give you like two steps. The step one is uh, like you talk the, the skills, but it's basically the reason of the, for the outliers, what the, all of the variations, it, it, this is writing in terms that you have the information on a graph that can show you the variability of the processes. So you investigate all of the outliers of the results of the outcome. Um, the step two is make the bell slimmer, it reduces the variation. Remember the sample that I gave you before? In terms of how the pizza, they have a, a, a high standard deviation. So the distribution is like wider. You are looking for the thinner one from the Mike and Speaks store that have the less variability. And in other words, on in summary, every time we first we first stabilize a process through Lean and then we optimize it through Six Sigma. In other words, first with Lean, you look for the waste, um, the waste through the processes and then you uh, optimize it through Six Sigma. Okay, Lean Six Sigma for total transformation. It has different elements. The first one is the management side focuses on using the management system to lay up the right projects to the right individuals. So the LS belts, groomed for leadership. This is a, a huge incentive in terms of the organization to have everyone empowered to uh, make a, a change that add value and save money to the organization. And the second point is the technical side that is would be focused on enhancing processes, performance, using process data, statistical thinking, variance methods, and ways of management. This is a whole like scientific team uh, for the organization. Another benefit is that leaders would be empowered to identify improvement projects. Uh, even though the first ones would be um, assigned, you will have like a system where everyone could be identified uh, things to get improved and apply the same methodology. And this will very good to optimize customer satisfaction. There is at the end, if you have a process that is close to the requirements of what the customer expected, but obviously you will get uh, boost that uh, customer satisfaction. And also, also Lean Six Sigma is a very flexible program that gets everyone working together towards one common goal, and that is improving the quality, reducing variation, waste, whatever. This is true if you top management of the top management of the company is aligned and um, making the resources available to this program. As I told you before, and this for me is my favorite part of doing project uh, using this methodology, is that decisions are based on very, very, 
verifiable data, not the best guessing or somebody told you what to solve without the proper support. Um, so in this in this point, it's to be it's needed a focus on attaining measurable quantifiable financial return for any Six Sigma project as well as standardization. So you will see the return of every time investment in improving something. Um, also, it needs an infrastructure that create a role for every person in the company. We already uh, already pointed out this, and also it's it helps to increase an emphasis in strong in strong and passionate leadership and support to remove barriers and reward success. Uh, from this point, I I I love it's a part of the the to make decision based on, on data, and also you can get like the financial project return on the of based on the results that you will get on this improvement. That's the two powerful thing that I can uh, make a main emphasis of this slide. So two examples of the LSS successful deployments. We can see the 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 example that I just started this module is the Motorola in 86 has used the company around 17 billion dollars in process improvement ever since. Can you imagine that? Is a lot of money. And in the five years from 95 to 2000, another GE embraced Lean Six Sigma practice that realized benefits than, uh, more than 10 billion. So if you're working in a company or you are planning to implement that in your own company, you can take into account more deeply to understand what Motorola and, and GE that are the two reference of this uh, methodology did in deep in terms of the people, in terms of the system, how they collect the data, how they decide which project is going to be done, from a project is going to be done each year, it regards an strategic and planning process in order to achieve this uh, result. So in summary, uh, I can share with you like four LSS keys to success. First, a repeatable stable process is lean. Two, let's wait and improve the flow. Again, it's lean, we start with that. Then three, improve the bottom line down to cost poor quality, cost reduction and reduce the variance that gets a more stabilized process. And four, improve customer satisfaction and branding with LLS. This is very important. Um, it's, it's well recognized for the people who know about this when you, see, when you say that your company is doing improvement uses the LDS methodology is a huge and powerful management uh, approach to get a uh, very company save money and boost customer satisfaction. Okay, this is the end of the module about Six Sigma. See you in the next model.